Yeah, um, I've been trying to call you and I still can't get in touch with you and I don't understand. It's going on 11 months and um, I'll just call you back. But please, no more rhinos, no more gorillas, no more giraffes or zebras or penguins, whatever the hell it is, panda bears. Just no more. Just no more animals, exotic animals guarding your house. But, but yeah, I'll call you. No, you call me. What did I say again? Hmm. I don't know. You got cheesecake? I like cheesecake. So, but I'll call you. No, no, you. Yeah, bye. I'll call you. No, you call me. You're back. Oh. There we go. He's walking to a whole bunch of nothing. Sponsored by Nutella. I said so. He's walking to a whole bunch of nothing. 94. Today. We're going to be opening up. Got my whole hands on. Minor leaguers. That'd be Chipper Jones. Be the hot one on this one. Big solo. Anyways, we're going to be opening up the minors. Factory set, still sealed as you can see, and we're gonna do a Hall of Famer hanger pack. We'll probably wind up doing this first, but you know what it is video first. Right. Get some Nutella. And a try it off. Some of this Lipton Green. Woo, man, this shit's smoking. Good. Good shit, man. And I want to talk about something. I know all three of you out there go through the same shit, or are going through the same shit, what I'm about to mention. So with that being said, I know I gotta shave. Looking scruffy roughy, man. So with that being said, enjoy the video. I'll be back. video I know I don't know what it is oh yeah <clears throat> you can tell by the same song I just paused it yeah but anyways remember what I said people well I shouldn't call you all people remember what I said about two different species there's humans there's people boy did I just a whole weekend full of people the, the key to any good relationship I don't care what it is I don't care what it is and, it, and don't get me wrong I've been guilty of this but I don't I haven't been guilty in many uh, many many a long time uh, communication without communication all relationships whether they're business romantic or intimate or personal or social or whatever the case may be acquaintanceship it's gonna go down the shitter man and I just come to the terms now or I come to grips with myself here. I just block you now. Period. If you don't, if you want to ignore me, when I go out of my way and do stuff, and you ask me to, and I do it, and then all of a sudden you're not communicating with me, or I text you and I'm like, hey, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, why? What's up? Yeah, I could stop by. And then all of a sudden, okay, when? <laughs> 
what's good for you? And then nothing. All day for nine hours. So you know what I do now? I just block you. I block them. Whoever. I don't care, man. If what you can do for me. You know what I do care about? What you can't do for me because I'm not going to allow you to give me a headache and stress me out, man. So it's just easier just to block you. Out of sight, out of mind. That's how I look at it. So from here on forward, if anybody tries to get or gets in touch with me and or I get in touch with them and there's no communication or there's communication breakdown of some sort, I just block you. Feel free to do the same to me. Matter of fact, you might be saving me a uh, headache from uh, doing it for me because I ain't tolerating shit no more. So, if you don't like it, you know where I live. That's all I got to say. And then, I get this idiot. I'm selling, well, the guy contacts me. And asks me, you buy sports cards and action figures, you know, sports figures, action figures, whatever. Yeah, it depends on what kind. So, I'm helping somebody out at their house. I don't want to talk about business in front of these people because it's nobody's business what I do. I mean, it is because, you know, it's public. You know I, I, you know, I got my store and stuff like that. And I want people to know about it. But I don't want to discuss business in front of somebody that doesn't need to hear my shit. So I said... Yeah, you know, call me back. Here's my number. Call me at 9. The guy texts us back and says, why 9? <laughs> I had a laugh just like that. I said, first of all, I don't know who you think you are questioning me. Second of all, I'm helping somebody. I'm at somebody's house. So why would you question me? Just say, hey, okay, cool. I'll talk to you then. I know I would. I wouldn't say, why 9? You don't even know me, dude. Like you're a total stranger and you're questioning me and you want to sell me something? Boy, you a fucking idiot, man. <laughs> I said, you're a moron, man. So I said, I'm helping somebody. And I said, I don't have to answer to you. The only people I ever have to answer to is my daughter, my daughter's mother, of course. Whatever she asks, I'm, I'm going to tell her. Or my, you know, my roommate too. Well, I don't even have to answer to him really, but I do. If he asks, I'll tell him, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to answer to anybody. There's only one individual in this world, one, for sure, guaranteed that I'll answer to, and it's my daughter. Second would be her mom. Everybody else, I don't care. I don't have to answer to you. <laughs> Boy, was I hot. So the guy texts his back and says, well, you don't have to get like that, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And I said, look, mofo, I don't know who you are. This is what I do. Take your shit and go kick mud, man. I don't need your dolls. <laughs> That's what I said. Well, they're dolls. They're action figures. Yeah, sure they are. They, you know, Barbie's not an action figure. <laughs> you got mad. Hey, you, you know, you're toying with the right one. You, you, you're looking at, you're barking up the right tree, dog. Okay? Because I'll give, I'll get you, I'll give you what you're looking for. Okay? I can, I can roast the best. Jeff Ross, I'm coming for you next. <laughs> so, so we get this debate. He's like, you just stay with your eight and nine job. Eight to nine job. Eight to nine job. I said, ma'am, are you really this stupid? <laughs> eight to nine? Do you mean like eight to four or nine to five maybe? And he's like, well, I'm over. I'm over half your age. First of all, you don't even know how old I am. And how are you going to be over half? You mean you're at least half. Or so, just the guy didn't know what the hell he was talking about. He was just screaming out his ass. Boy, I had, a, I, I had a heyday with him. So then I end it. I simply said this. You are one of the biggest morons, the biggest idiot I've ever met. So you can take your dolls and your garbage pail reprint cards and shove them up your ass. And then I just deleted and blocked. I know that. When people block me, <laughs> I get pissed. So I left it off the way I wanted to. So from here on out, I just block people. Don't be blocked. Simple as that. Communicate with me. That's all I ask. So anyways, let's cut. Let's. Um, I'm only going to cut one of these open. 
just because I, uh, a friend of mine, he sold them to me, and this I got at a flea market. So, yeah, this I found it. It's a um, Steve factory sealed. See, factory sealed. Um, it's a. Uh, it is the '91. Yeah, '91. Um, complete factory set, minor league. Minor leagues. Uh, Chipper Jones is in there, and who else? Uh, who else was in '91? Help me out here, guys. Um, I just I'm thinking about that guy still, man. <laughs> All right. Well, Chipper Jones is the hot one, so that's what we're gonna look for. And the other one will come to mind. So which one do you want to open up? One, two, or three? I'm gonna well, this one, this one, or this one. Oh, okay. Do we want to go with the bottom one? Good. We're gonna go with one in the middle. Doc Gooden. I like Doc Gooden. Don't get me wrong. I like Ryan Sandberg. All three are Hall of Famers here. Andre Scott. Oh, except for Andre Scott I don't think he made the Hall of Fame. I don't ever think he made the ballot. I mean, I'm almost positive he didn't. I could be wrong. Often wrong, but never in doubt. So we're going to open this one up. And uh, we're going to go through this. And if you see something you like, ask. I'll give it to you. Simple as that. I'm going to give you mood today. So... Anyways, top card, of course. We're going to sleeve immediately. I'm going to sleeve it Friday. Oh, wow. Got a good one afterwards. Uh, Doc Good, we're definitely sleeving right now as I speak with you. And I'm going to double sleeve them. I'm going to put them in a penny sleeve and then in a top loader. And if you want them, subscribe, comment, uh, and tell me that you want it. And I'll get with you. And see, penny sleeve. And uh, I will send it to you. Free. I'll pay for the posters and everything. Just don't be a idiot like that guy. There you go. See that? Doc Gooden, Hall of Famer. All right, another good one right here. Mickey Brantley played for the Mariners. Not a Hall of Famer, though. He looks pissed. Someone's messing with his woman <laughs> over in the bleachers or banging her out, something like that. Uh, who's this? Oh, Dave Bergman. And Steve Ellisworth. He did a little something. Jeff Treadway. Treadway. Carmelo Martinez. Cal Daniels. Jerry Don, Jerry Gleaton, Terry Kennedy, good one right here for you cubbies, man, Goose, Goose Gossage, man, Rich Gossage, <laughs> I like calling him Goose Gossage, as a matter of fact, I'm going to sleeve him up right now, he's a, he's a Hall of Famer, I do believe he is, I could be wrong, off the wrong, never in doubt, um, and I'm going to put him in a top loader as well. Because I like Goose, man. So we, there we go. Penny sleeve and top loader. Bam. Okay. Oh! Roger Clemens. We're going to put him in a sleeve and a top loader. There you go, man. Look at that. Right off the three good ones, man. There we go. As you can see, in a penny sleeve. And top loader. There we go. All right. Well, yeah, it really burned my ass, man. He said, "Why? Why at nine? Why are you asking me? Why are you even asking me anything, dude? You're asking me to buy your shit, or if I do buy stuff like that, and then you want to question me like that? You're a real fucking moron, man. <laughs> An idiot, Wally Joyner." Wallace Johnson and Steve Peters. Okay. So, all right, we're going to put these over here, right here, right here, right there. Now, we're going to cut this open. Any of these in here that you see that you like, they're yours. See, I'm cutting the factory seal off it right now. As you can see. go. 
All right. So I'm gonna put you. I'm just gonna do the. What we got? Now we got time a little bit. I'm gonna do the first 20 cards real quick. And then I want to show you guys something right here. These are the Allen Ginters that I have for sale. So if anybody wants to purchase them, I've got them. They're average ones. So they're relatively cheap. You know, like the last five dates I had. So now, as you can see, when I open this up, they come in packs. See, like our bundles. So we're going to do which bundle you want. Because when these come, they come like... Um, uh, well, how's it go? Like, um, National League, uh, whatever, and then it'll, it has, uh, right here. Look at that. Wow. Look at this. Look at that. Look at Mike Schmidt. Look at that. Look at young Mike Schmidt. And then it's got... Wow, these are, like, badass. These are... Wow, man. Yeah, these are... <laughs> and then this, let me see. I thought they came in a different way, to be honest, which I thought like it was uh, Diamond Skills, National League, Diamond Skills, uh, American League. Tom Nevers, right off the top right there, too. Uh, now, okay. See, I'm just I'm just looking to see which one I should do, and there's a reason. Okay, here's the checklist. So, okay, here's here, let's get to the, here's the checklist right here. Uh, let me see here. I'm trying to find who would be in the 91 besides Chipper Jones. I want uh, Mark Gray. No, no, that's Mike Mark Grace. Are they coming, Aaron, Aaron Seeley. Uh. Chris Prochette. Uh, let me see. Is there a checklist on the back of this? No. Damn. So, anyways, well, I got five of these right here. And we're gonna, just going to go with the first one right here. So, how's everybody doing out there? How's everybody uh, going to get gonna enjoy what everybody thinks is going to be normal life again? Well, it's not. It's going to get worse. Mark my words. This is not conspiracy theory thinking. This is not nothing like that. This is truth and matter. This is fact. Um, we are going to... Our economy is going to crash. And it's definitely going to get worse. Because half of America is not taking the vaccine. And I'm part of that. So there's going to be all kinds of chaos. So, and with the cyber war going on and all that crap, gas prices going up, economy's not getting any better. Employment numbers ain't getting no better. I just watched it uh, Thursday. Now, well, I actually watched it Friday. <laughs> I actually watched it Friday, but, you know, Thursday's unemployment ain't done shit. Actually, it's gone down. But, of course, good old truthful media says differently. So, hey, so be it. But anyways... Let's see what we got here. We got a uh, beautiful Mike Schmidt card. But see, he wasn't a uh, minor league in 91. I can tell you that right now. Um, I'm going to just kind of shoot through and see what I can pull out here. Anything good. Um, so far, nobody. <laughs> um... Wow, it's a Columbus Indians. John Harkey. Look at that, though. Look at that. It's an, the Columbus Indians. Boy, they were called. They're called the Columbus Clippers now, and they used to be for the Yankees AAA thing. So, but I think they're for us now because we the Bisons are gone. Bisons, Buffalo Bisons. That's that was our Double A, I believe. Or no, was that no? That was our Triple A, I believe. Um, Brian Johnson, I remember him. <laughs> Barely. So, um, let's see. Who else we got here? Eric Young, Donald Harris. Boy, what a boring year 91 was for fucking rookies, man, and minors. I can't 
It's another Indian right here. Brian Giles. Okay, now. Here we go. Brian Young. He's with the King Kinston Indians. Brian Giles. Look at that. Okay, we're going to put him to the side. Okay. Um, it's nice to see Brian Giles, man. He's retired now. Of course. Uh... Tell you what, the first one to comment and subscribe, I'll send you an unopened, I'll send you a whole one of these. That goes for Brandon Sports Cards, Rye Dog, any of you, man. I'll send you one of these. Brand new. Whoever, I don't care where you're at. It don't matter what part of the world. Saini. Another Indian, Jeff Mudis. He's a, this is a, a, a Akron Canton was double. This was double A right there. And then Henry Cruz, Tigers, Barry Winfield. Uh, right here. Wow, there was like really half these people. I don't even think they made it out of the minor leagues. I'm not a big I'm not a big uh, minor league follower like Ride Dog. He follows the minor league. So I highly recommend if you want minor league updates on what's going on in the minor league as of today, watch Rye Dog 54. You'll get it. He's he's really good, and I highly like, like I said recommend you watch his show, subscribe to it. And I don't know, we can't get anybody here. Wow, 91 sucked for rookies except for Chipper Jones. Uh oh, Reggie Sanders. Okay. Not a Hall of Famer, but still, he was a household name there in the 90s. So, I want to say John Wetland, too, for some reason, or Tim Wakefield. Oh, man, I got to itch. You ever get an itch on your foot, man, and you can't get to it, man? Oh, that felt good. Um, uh, man, I, this is a, man, there's a Mo Sanford. I remember him. He was not a Hall of Famer, <laughs> that's for sure, but he was not even a household common name, but I just remember him, period, just because. A lot of errors, I think. Uh, wow, man, look at this. This is just absolutely horrible. I paid too much for this kit or set. Way too much. Ricky Gutierrez. Now, he's not a Hall of Famer. But he was a com you know household name. Was a you know was. Oh, Pat Bryant, the Columbus Indians, which was the Triple A. I remember him too. I remember they brought him up very briefly. I think in '92. So. Hey Schmidt, that's a season round. Well, let's open one. <laughs> let's open this one right here. <laughs> we're going to we're going to the Hall of Famers thing. I'm going to have to go through this and, because I don't want to waste your time. I just, you know, I'm already wasting your time <laughs> with this show. If you made it this far in the video, man, thank you. Um, Ryan Sandberg, I'm going to put him in a penny sleeve right now, but I'll do it right after I get off with you. Uh, Phillies leaders, of course we know that's going to be Mike Schmidt or Lenny Dykstra. Uh, Randy Kramer, don't know, don't remember. So we're just gonna throw that right there with that one. Greg Gagne, I remember him. Fred Tolliver, I remember him. Yeah, did okay. Greg Olson, rookie. Okay. Dave Otto. Okay, Otto, fucking do something. <laughs> Padres leaders. Padres leader would be Tony Gwynn. Roberto Almar, that's Roberto right there, as a matter of fact. That's Roberto Almar right there sliding. Uh-huh. And a poet. Kenny Patterson. And Danny Jackson. Franklin Stubbs. Lance Johnson. 
Rafael Santana. Here we go. Got an Indian. Brooke Jacoby. Everybody remembers. If you, if you, listen, if you don't know who Brooke Jacoby is and, and you're, you say you're a Tribe fan, you're lying. Everybody remembers Brooke. Brooke made a, a big dent with the Cleveland Indians, man. Put up really good numbers. So, great card right here. He's definitely getting penny sleeved and uh, top loaded. And Ron uh, Carcavoisi or whatever the hell his name is. Okay. So, anyways... Uh, sorry, this was a boring one, uh, and, and this right here turned out to be a bust, it almost looks like. So, um, you know what we'll do? Here's what we'll do. I'll make it up to you. I'll eat a Nutella sandwich in front of you. <laughs> That's what I'll fucking do. Good shit. So, you know what that uh, falling down, broken my hip shit? It's real. So, check out the senior citizens around you, whatever the reason may be, why they're trapped in the house. Check on him. It's the right thing to do because it's the right thing to do. Um, senior citizens are people too. <laughs> um, the three keeps for your um, the pet you say that you love like a family member. Keep them hydrated, keep them fed, and keep your eye on them, okay? And spade and neuter them and all that good frosty shit that Drew Barker and uh, Bob Carey say, okay? Um, if you love them, love them, man. Treat them. And um, just watch your kids this summer. It's going to get stupid. I'm telling you. Mark my words, whatever the date is, May 21st or May whatever the hell it is today. I don't even know what day it is. I don't even care because all the days are just, it's blending into one. So, with that being said, Maddie, mwah, special shout out to my daughter. I love you. I'll never forget. You thought I was going to forget. You thought I forgot, huh? Well, I forget Nutella before I forget you. <sighs> Maddie, I love you with all my heart. With every ounce of love, a father can love his daughter. I have it for you. I know that was gross. Be good for your mom. She works hard. And, um, if you have one of these, use it, okay? Not glasses. Yeah, I know you have those, but you also have contacts, too, I believe. So, if you have one of these, well, you have one. I don't. <laughs> it's called a brain. You have one. You're witty as they come. You can outwit the best, okay? Let's do the right thing. And listen to what I say. It's going to get stupid this summer. It really is. It's kind of with this. But everybody thinks it's normal. That's when, that's when we're going to get sucker punched with something. Mark my word. Uh, I love you with every ounce of love. Mwah. You have no idea how much I miss you. I think about you constantly. So, with that being said, mwah. hubble up. I don't know where it went, but that's for you to find out. And hopefully catch. You only got about 40 of them up there. <laughs> uh, please, Maddie, be good. Be careful. Stay uh, happy, healthy, and safe. And always, always stay fearless, Maddie. Um, you have my temperament. Watch. <laughs> don't lose control of it. Because when I get hot, when I get pissed, it's over with. I don't care. You could be the Jolly Green Giant. I'm going to Jolly Green knock you down. Okay, so if you have any temper like I do, which I know you do, be careful. Okay? Just do the right thing. That's all I ask. And, and really, be good for your mom. Just because, and listen to her. She may tell you something you don't like or you don't want to do. It may be wrong. It may be right. But just, it's your mom. Listen to her, please. Okay? And Tracy, have you seen this? If you see this, you did a phenomenal job. Hands down. Mother of the century. And um, I love you, Maddie. And Tracy, I love you for, you know, for uh, for Maddie, you know. So you did good. So with that being said, uh, both of you, be careful, take care, and stay fearless. So any, everybody else, I'll see you in the next episode. I promise you it will be uh, better because I've got another surprise uh, that we can open up. Uh, Boy, what a bust out. Oh, I was going to show you the Allen and Ginter, but I'll show you in the next one. Um, with that being said, everyone, uh, Belgium, uh, Brazil, uh, UK, and uh, the Philippines, thank you for all your love and support. And with that being said, be good to each other out there. We need each other, okay? Be good to the next person because you never know who's an angel. Peace.
still not answering. Well, it's the end. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.